Exactly. And you know, like, this makes me think of something my first judo coach told me. He told me the mark of a, of a real black belt is that when you, when you spar with him, um, you'll catch him once with something. Yeah. But then you won't be able to catch him a second time with mm. that same technique. And that's the that's a mark of a really of a very good black belt, is that you might catch him one time with one particular throw, but then you'll go to round two. If you try that move again, he'll he'll be able to to stop you. He won't fall for it. He'll be able to get out of it or counter you or you know like shut you down. And he said that's when you know you're 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 in front of a real advanced black belt. Like he's able to make the adjustments um, quickly, you know. Not not during the match, so to speak, but I mean, if he experiences it, it, he experiences it once. He'll know what to he'll he'll know what to watch out for uh, after that. But that's really interesting. And of course, as he makes the adjustments, then you have to make the adjustments because what worked the first time isn't going to work again. So you're going to have to set it up differently. And uh, yeah, it's a it's a very beautiful thing. So there's there's levels to the game. And, you know, black belt is really just um, the beginning. Like the way my coach used to describe it to me is that in judo, once you, get to, uh, once you get to black belt, that's when you're finally with the big boys. It's just yeah. the beginning. It doesn't mean you mastered anything. It just means now you get to play with the big boys. That's it. This is a topic I want to talk about a little bit because I think because I, I, I totally understand that. And I think because, because of the language that we use to express that idea, some people get the wrong idea that a black belt doesn't mean anything, or that a black belt, um, the, basically black belts should not be good at fighting or, or good at their martial art. And um, because again, it, it, it's, it's like that first level, now you're playing with the big boys, if you will. But... Um, I get a ton of derogatory comments from martial artists who essentially tell me that um, that a black belt in any given martial art just means you have a super basic low level of competency. And I, I hate this idea because if, if you go back to the origins of the black belt, uh, Jigoro Kano gave out two ranks originally, the black belt and the white belt black belt to instructors and white belt to students. And supposedly the instructors knew judo and they knew how to teach it, right? And then other martial arts like Taekwondo adopted the black belt and karate adopted the belt, the belt system as well. And all these other martial arts now use belt systems because judo did and they thought it was cool and it looked legit. And people like tying rank belts around their around their waists, but there are so many crappy martial artists out there wearing black belts who use this as an excuse, saying, "Well, the black belt is just the first level. It's it's just a basic level of competency." And I'm like, "You you don't even know the forms of your martial. You don't even know how to throw a punch. You don't even know how to make a fist." That. That's not a basic level of competency. Um, I don't know how many terrible black belts in various martial arts you've met. I've met a lot. And, uh, and I think the reason for this is just not because martial arts are inherently good or bad, but because most people just kind of suck at martial arts. Because most people haven't put in the work and the effort to gain competency in martial arts. Like, people are always arguing on the internet, like whether or not Aikido is good or not, whether or not Krav Maga is good or not. And I, I've made some videos to this effect where people ask me my opinion, and I told them, quite frankly, my, my opinion. This is the experience I've had with instructors and black belts in these martial arts and so on. And people get mad because my experience with most martial artists of most disciplines is they are, they're not serious fighters. And this is true of almost everybody. Um, and people get mad because they, they feel that's a, a reflection on their style, which, which they identify with, identify coming from the Latin idem, meaning the same as, I, I, I make myself the same as, that's what identify means. So if I identify with Aikido, for example, and some guy on the internet says Aikido sucks, 
that therefore is saying you suck as a person, right? And people get mad about this. They become tribal over these martial arts. So I'm, I'm expressing like three or four points at the same time here, but, but I loved how you phrased that, that the black belt in, in judo, it, it doesn't mean you're a master. It means you're playing with the big boys now, if you will. I, I love that. I love that, how you phrased that. Because, I mean, you can be, you can be good. You can be a good grappler without an advanced judo rank. Like I've, I've met many people who were, and uh, again, as we discussed before, I've met many uh, judo black belts of dubious level of, of skill, and I've met guys who are just absolute killers. Um, how do you feel about, about belt inflation, if you will, about, um, you know, people who suck having black belts in martial arts versus people who are amazing at martial arts having the same exact rank? Hmm. Hmm. Um, <clears throat> wait. Could you could you, could you repeat that question? I mean, how do I feel yeah. about people who have black belts and who suck, who can't fight, and yes. about people who have black belts people who can't with fight? the same exact rank who who can fight? Yeah. Um, hmm. Hmm. Okay. Well, the thing is, um, if you get your black belt and um, you haven't sparred, there's no sparring in 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 your martial art, or you just didn't spar, then you're gonna get, and you get the black belt regardless because of time spent. You know, you're devoted. You know, you're you're really a student of the game, but you just don't like to fight or whatever. Then of course, yeah, you won't be able to fight. It's because you only get good at what you do, what you practice. Yeah. So if you practice doing forms, or you practice, uh, you know, like um, uh, you practice a lot of um drills so to speak but you don't actually fight then you're not going to get good at fighting you'll get good at whatever it is that you're training at so if, for example in wing chun if you do a lot of sticky hands and and you go like this and you go like that and you you work a lot on the dummy that's what you're going to get good at but you don't actually get good at fighting because fighting is the only way to get good at fighting is to fight and and so in the martial arts where they don't have sparring but guys have trained for a for a long time and they get their black belt and then from there, and that, I think that's where it comes from. They're like, okay, well, now that I have um, basic competence in, you know, in my art, I have a black belt, but I still can't fight because now it's the beginning. Well, that's mm. because you, you never fought. 